back to my channel so today in the mail i received the basic witch palette from bell beauty bar i am so happy to have this the moment it was released i placed my order and i am just ooh, happy to have it in my hands this is the gorgeous color story look at all those beautiful purples that pop of green and just all of those stunning shimmers if you have not tried the bell beauty shimmer formula yet oh my gosh it is just mind-blowing. I have only tried uh, one other palette. It was their Strange and Unusual palette, which I believe was like their Halloween release from last year. Um, and it was amazing. The mattes like didn't blow me away, but I have heard amazing things about um, how they've reformulated their matte formula. So I'm really excited to play with this one and see if there's any difference with that. Not that the other ones were bad. They just weren't like anywhere near as amazing as the shimmers were. So I'm super excited to try another palette from them. I will insert some swatches that I took and then we'll just get into playing with it and creating a look. So here are the swatches. I decided to go row by row. I am super obsessed with the shimmers already. So that's nothing new. They look at the sparkle and shine to these. I don't even feel like the video captures them as great as they are. Uh, but I am feeling great about the mattes so far. They feel really buttery, so I can't wait to play with them on my eyes. All right, so I think I figured out what I want to do. At first, I was really gravitated towards, I just really wanted to go with the purples. Uh, but I just, the more I look at it, I really want to play with this bottom row. So I am going to go into I think all of these shades but we're going to start off with Black Cat and I am going to just take that on a which is this it's a elf 201 it's just like a little flat shader kind of brush and I just want to lay out some shades some pigment I guess I hope this is zoomed in at a good level I'm trying to still figure out where I should be zoomed wise for my videos when I'm applying the makeup. I feel like when I zoom in too much, there's just too much of a chance that I constantly go out of frame. Uh, but I don't want to be too zoomed out where you can't really see what I'm doing. So hopefully this works. Feel free to let me know in the comments. But we're just going to start placing that. I'm just lightly going in. I just want to figure out the shape I want. I think I'm going to do like a cut crease sort of style. So I want to take that, round that out, and then even already drag that out onto the lower lash line a little bit. Something like that. So now that we have that laid down, we are going to go in with the shade over here, Coven, which is very like purpley gray, and we're just going to use that to help blend out Black Cat. I am taking that on a, I think this is a Morphe, Morphe JS6, and I'm just going to pick up a little bit Coven, and we're just going to lightly Start blending out the edge. I almost feel like I probably should have gone in with a bit smaller of a blending brush, but that's okay. I'm dipping in a lot into the shade just because, see, like I went in heavier, heavier right there. I'm trying to just be a little bit ginger with with it because I just don't know how these mattes, like how well they blend out, but so far pretty nicely. I am impressed. And again, it's not, um, their matte formula wasn't like terrible before, but the shimmers are just so amazing that they definitely outshun the mattes completely so it's just nice to see them uh, stepping up where like the mattes are going to be on par with the shimmers because they are such an awesome brand and it will just be 
nice to have every shade in their palette be a winner. I am loving these shades together. All right, so we just want to blend it out something like that. So now we have the blend we want, and I will just say with those mattes, I didn't really have to go back and forth much, and sometimes I really have to go back and forth with both shades or whatever shades I used just to get the right blend, and I barely had to do a thing. So moving on, now we are going to cut the crease, and I'm just going to take a Q-tip with some micellar water on it. And I think I want to try to go for a very high cut crease. I really want those shimmers to have a lot of room. So off camera, I applied some NYX glitter glue. I just used a flat round art brush. I think I got this from Michaels. It's a Royal Langnickel, but it's not from like their makeup line. It is from the art line and let's dig into our shimmers so sticking with the bottom row like i said i think we're gonna go in with cauldron first and then we're going to bring on um, like more towards like the outer corner and then i think we're gonna bring um hocus pocus more towards the inner corner so let's pick up cauldron first Oh my gosh, just, I don't know if you can see that on the brush, but beautiful purple turquoise shift. It's absolutely stunning. And yep. Just as obsessed as ever with their shimmers. Have you tried to Bella Beauté Bar yet? I am just obsessed with their stuff. I need to try more from them. I really want to try, um, I think it's like this smoky, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of it right now. It's more like smoky. It's a bigger palette of theirs. Um, it's a mix of shimmers and mattes. I'm really curious about that one. I'm really curious about everything from them, but I am sold. Plus also, I really want the one that's coming out right after this, the recently de-influenced one. Oh my gosh, that color story. Ooh, those reds. I am sold. But just look at the magic of their shimmers. How could you not be obsessed? So next we are gonna go into Hocus Pocus and that is just the most beautiful like green, gold, and blue shade. I don't know, there's so much to mention. And, oh, oh my God. I'm dead. I'm just absolutely dead. How do they do this? Oh my God. I just, I've only played with two shimmers so far and I'm just freaking obsessed. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of Hocus Pocus and pull that more over to where Cauldron is. And I might actually just dip back into Cauldron just a little bit just to make sure they mix together nicely. But look at the shine and sparkle on that. Oh my gosh, I hope that this is picking up on camera as beautifully as it is in person. Just this shade especially, it just got, well actually no, both of them, like just such intense sparkle on top of the gorgeous shifts that it has. And they just go on so smoothly, making sure you use the right side of the brush. They just, they're so smooth on the lid. There's definitely some shades in this palette that feel like a bit more like thick and flaky, um, but they also just have these shimmers that are just so smooth and soft and like having mature lids like shimmers like that like it not it's going on gorgeous and not adding any extra to I don't even have words it's it's just stunning so I'm 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 done I'm obsessed anyways 
let's move on. I'm going to finish this eye on the lid and then we will move on to the lower lash together. So we have one shade left on the bottom row and we can't leave it out. So we're going to go in with the shade Creep It Real. Love the name. And I think we are going to bring that onto the lower lash, like towards the inner corner. I'm just taking that on like a pencil brush. This is a Morphe M431. And we're just going to lightly blend that out. It is, there is a good amount of, maybe I just dipped really hard, but there was a good amount of kick up for the first time with one of the mattes when I dipped into the shade. So just something to be aware of. And we're just going to do that. I'm just going to keep blending that out. And then I'm also going to go back in with Black Cat and just make sure the blend between those two shades is pretty smooth. All right, so that is the lower lash. I think that's pretty much it for the shadows. So I am going to go and add some mascara, some lashes, uh, probably have my lips on it too. I might even add some other little embellishments just to witchify this look up a bit. And we can come back for my final thoughts on this first impression on this palette. And yeah, go from there. So be right back. All right, here's the finished look. Did just a subtle lip to go along with everything. I just wanted to do something crazy. I thought it would be really fun to do something blown out, make it really witchy. I dig it. Might not be everyone's cup of tea, but whatever. Anyways, I added some liner, some jewels to make it kind of stars and celestial. Again, add to the witch vibe. But what do you think? I am really in love with this. I had so much fun. Um, obviously you could pair it with a less bold lip and it would be a really fun look for that. But that is my first look using the Basic Witch palette. I absolutely adore this. I really loved the Strange and Unusual palette, but this is definitely my favorite out of the two so far. Um, this gets me so excited to try the brand more. I am just so impressed. The shimmers are just right on par with what I would expect, and the mattes definitely brought it. Like, they stepped up to the plate. I am super impressed with how they performed. I can't wait to use more of them. I use some of the purples on my lips to create that kind of like smoky, witchy lip kind of look. I guess it also looks kind of clownish, but whatever. I'm going with witch. Anyways, I had so much fun creating this look, playing with this palette. Needless to say, I love it. I'm obsessed. If you haven't gotten this yet, um, if you haven't tried the brand yet, definitely give them a go with the stuff that they're putting out. Even if you, if this palette isn't what speaks to you, I am sure there is something amongst what they have that would, so I can't recommend them enough. And yeah, I just had a lot of fun. So if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.